morning and welcome to the 18th of September 2017. Uh, I'm coming to you post CrossFit 6am class at the fabulous level movement in Bagnall Road and I've just been thinking this weekend having been asked quite a lot this last couple of weeks about how come I have so much energy and how come I'm always smiling. I'm not. I have always said I got heaps of serotonin and I'm really lucky and I'd like to share that with people because I genuinely feel happy most of the time and I feel joy a lot. So happy and joy are two different things but you can get joy out of lots of things even if you don't feel happy. But I guess I've entitled this blog I Feel Awful Sometimes Too and I had a massive acute I guess panic attack and anxiety attack last week and I just shut down. Uh, it really affects my relationship. It doesn't seem to affect my work because I've had a lot of practice at covering that up and being a professional and I was British trained and that's how you learnt to deal with things but I just wanted to get real with you and let you know that maybe even the people who seem like they've got it together, especially on Facebook may not have it together and that doesn't mean that we're trying to bring people down it just means that let's just get a little bit real and I hope that I inspire you by all the crazy things I do I don't do it for that reason I do it because I, I do love life and I like pushing myself because that helps me deal with when I don't feel so good and when I worry about patients and when my perfectionism gets in the way and gives me panic attacks and anxiety attacks. So although I might appear, appear very successful and I'm very successful academically, I always have been and in most things I do it's because I work so damn hard. But the downside of that is that I worry, I worry about patients a lot, especially my babies. I go home, I check things, have I covered everything? Um, have I kept them safe? Have I done the best treatment I can? Have I diagnosed well? I mean, that goes for all my patients and that comes at a price. So for me, sport balances that and my little light bulb moments come when I do my swimming and running. That's why sometimes I'll email you afterwards and say I've had an idea. I'm babbling as usual, but the whole point of this video is to say that even the bubbly people struggle with mental health sometimes and anxiety for me um, is the worst thing I've ever experienced and when I came to New Zealand four years ago I had a whole year of panic attacks and anxiety and wasn't really feeling like life was ever going to get better and so um, the first time I remember having it was actually about 15 years ago visiting New Zealand that's just coincidence and thinking right so this is how life's going to be I'm never going to be feel happiness again how can I get through life so um, it changes it goes up and down and I'm very grateful that I know how to manage it now and it will be different for everybody I'm very lucky I don't have it as much anymore but just for those of you who experience depression and anxiety and panic attacks and, and whatever you want to call it, just the struggle with this, uh, I'm just acknowledging that I hear. I really, really hear you. And that's why it's so important that during my sessions I ask about everything and I want to know everything about you because that affects pain too and that affects your resilience and that affects your relationships and that affects your everyday life and it's crap it's terrible and I wish it didn't happen but it does and so let's just start having that discussion and talking about it and I hope that my transparency and my honesty which isn't easy but it's all I know how to do I hope that that um, inspires you to feel some empathy with someone you know who might um, be also experiencing that. Happy Monday.